Hi, welcome to episode 10 from chapter 10, and this is the final episode in this series. And this episode covers some of the really neat cutting edge stuff that you're going to find in biology. Because a lot of our current research in biology deals with stem cells and how we could harness those to help improve our lives. So first of all, what is a stem cell? A stem cell is an undifferentiated, unspecialized cell. It's a cell that can become any of the 200 different types of cells that we have in our body. Now, not all stem cells are the same. Stem cells come in two flavors, embryonic, which means you're from the embryos before you were born, and then we have what are called adult stem cells, and these are cells that would come into play after you're born, so to speak. Okay? All right, now, embryonic stem cells come in two types, and they're called totipotent and pluripotent, okay? Totipotent simply means totally potent, okay? So think of toti as total, okay? These can develop into any of the different types of cells that can have, all right? So um, we only find these in a fertilized egg, the first few cells. So if you look over here, like these eight cells right in here, those are totipotent, totally potent, can become anything. Okay, now as we go through our um, stages of embryonic development, we're going to eventually form what is called a hollow ball. So, first of all, you had this: for, you had a sperm cell and you had an egg cell, and then when they join together, you have your fertilized egg or your zygote. And the zygote is going to go through the cell division to two, to four, to eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, on and on and on until finally, after a few hundred divisions, it's going to form this hollow ball. This hollow ball is called a blastocyst. Now, this blastocyst right in this area right here, let me go ahead and circle this. This blastocyst is going to have a, a kind of a clump of cells on, on, on the inside, and this is called the inner cell mass. The inner cell mass is going to become you. These cells right over in here are going to form like the placenta, the amniotic sac, and all that other stuff. But this cluster of cells, that's going to become the organism. It's going to become you if this was a human embryo. Now, the inner cell mass, these cells are pluripotent because they're going to become, and remember, pluri means plural, so more than one, they're going to become any of the 200 and plus cell types that are in your body, okay? They're not totipotent because they're not going to become these cells up here that become part of the amnion, all right? So they're going to turn into blood vessels, cardiac muscles, or neural cells, okay? So I want you to remember, totipotent are these early embryonic cells. They can become anything, you know, the amniotic cells and the inner cell mass. The inner cell mass, these are pluripotent. They can only become the cells that make up your body. Still very, very powerful, okay? All right, so let's look at adult stem cells. Uh, these are stem cells that are found inside the organ. So there'll be stem cells inside the brain, your heart, etc. Those are adult stem cells. Now, adult stem cells are multipotent, which means they can only become many. And let me see this. In other words, just, let's do it like this. And when it comes to stem cells, multi means a few. We'll use pluri for many, okay? So, for example, look down here. This is a mesenchymal stem cell. Mesenchyme is a type of connective tissue. Now, this type of stem cell can become bone, cartilage, which, you know, the end of your nose is cartilage, connective tissue. Think of ligaments tendons, etc., or adipose tissue, which is fat tissue. So it cannot turn into all 200 types of the cells that we have, but it can turn into a few, so it's multipotent. In this case, you got one, two, three, four different types that it can be. Okay? All right, now that's going to end this episode, and that's going to end this series on Chapter 10. Uh, I think Chapter 10 is kind of one of the easier um, chapters for myself, because you've, you've already learned through middle school prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. So we're only tossed in a few new concepts like uh, stem cells, hayflick limit, 
and that cell cycle control. Okay, so make sure you study up really well. This will be our last um, unit before the end of the semester. So make sure you study so you can finish strong. Okay, so until our next series, we're going to see you on the flip side.